Hi, Waria. It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. In the last episode, we cleared a stronghold and a dungeon in the Fractured Peaks, and today we are going to head over to the Sanguine Chapel, which is another dungeon in Fractured Peaks. We're also currently at Tier 5 for our renown. Well, that's what we're trying to, to complete in the Fractured Peaks. Let's get this Galvine here. For some reason I can't click on it because we got a Vampire Bat on it. Did we pick it? I guess we did. All right, here we are in the Sanguine Chapel. I wonder if this is a, a nightmare dungeon for this season. Kind of... Maybe not. I don't know. Probably not. I know there's a couple of chapel dungeons for this season. And currently trading is not allowed in Diablo 4. For now. Suspending. It's not going to be for everything, but they got people doing duplicate exploits and gold exploits and all this stuff. So trading is offline for now. I don't really mind because I don't really trade, but that does kind of suck for people who do play, you know, in a group. You know, let's say you get a piece of gear that they could use, can't even trade it. But hopefully they figure that out soon. Supposedly there's been a lot of bug and exploit issues this season. I haven't really... I don't think really... I don't think we ever like experienced any exploit bugs ourselves. Thing is, we did get a lot of loot in the Helltide. We got like 20 pieces of loot. Should probably do another one of those soon. I'm gonna consume one of these... Uh, Elixirs here. It's another good thing about doing health eyes. Get quite a bit of elixirs from the chest that we open. I'm not ready. There we go, we got the mechanical box. In the year of the light, 1318, Frostbitten. Six. Old age. One. Removal of blood. Fifty-four. Starvation. Three. No. Oh. Rough deaths there, except for the one dying of old age. That's not too bad. <laughs> All right, so let's... Uh... Get some more dexterity here. I guess we'll take this one. And now we have the additional bonus unlocked. Nice. So the next one we will take is uh, up here. Do the board attachment. And we'll choose a new board to level our paragon.
here. So the next one has to be over here. Oh yeah, got this guy's uh, a malignant elite. Get a heart from him. We got an event. I never passed this. I'll try it again. So I wonder if the mobs are all 55. Not like this. We we can't do it alone. Let's see. I love how she says that the only way out is to fight, and like two of them aren't even fighting. I think our only hope here is to just spam our, our trap on cooldown. We can sur oh, we survived some. One of them survived at least. Go on with the bow. Take this, my friend. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Well, that's progress. We got one to survive. Last time we did that was zero. Yeah, all the mobs are level 55 for some reason. It's kind of... We're taking an XP loss because of this. Like we're taking 10%, getting 10% less XP, I think. Which makes me think, should I wait to level 60 to do these? It's kind of weird how we're getting punished. It's kind of dumb, to be honest. To just scale to our level, sort of like how strongholds are, right? Yeah, yeah maybe that's what I'll do. We'll wait till level fifty six. I mean, level 60? And then we'll try dungeons again, and then maybe they'll scale up to level 60. Because it's the same thing on my druid. They're not uh, scaling up to our level. I swear they used to do that.
Oh nice, bunch of spawning here. responding right here in this tiny room. Right, now we can fight the boss. Looks like we're full on loot. I don't think we got any legendaries yet. We'll get one off of the boss though. Hopefully it's a good one. After this we'll do either strongholds or nightmare dungeons. I think we'll just do that from now on until the normal dungeons level catches up to us, or maybe until we get to World Tier 4. Okay, there we go. Kind of loading there. Nice. Fair trade. Not the greatest loot here. Well struck. Oh, well, it wasn't bad. Be right here. Anything else? All right, let's head back. Boss time. The Blood Bishop. I just got destroyed. <laughs> All right, so that's enough of these uh, these dungeons for now. We've got a legendary sword. Let's check out the aspect. When a dark shroud shadow would be removed, you trigger an explosion around yourself that deals 452 shadow damage. Almost perfect on that aspect. Not bad. And these pants, not very good. Chest, only three stats. And the bow uh, doesn't have too high of an item level. Oh, item power. So we'll get rid of all that stuff. Maybe we'll keep the legendary. Could be good if we ever decide to use Dark Shroud. Need something for it? Let's go and do. We'll d d drop this stuff up before we do a Nightmare Dungeon. I have to start getting rid of these. We have too many cage, too many hearts in our bags. There's another one there. All right, so what Nightmare Dungeon should we do? Mortal em Emanation, Shifting City. Ancient Reservoir. I guess we'll, we'll do Immortal Emanation. Poison damage, Lightning Storm, and Monster Shadow damage over time. We haven't done this dungeon before. Nice. Let's get a little bit of renown from that. And I think we unlocked a Tree of Whispers. Cash. 
So we'll do that after this. Yeah, only eight minutes on the Helltide. There wasn't much time left. I want to do a Helltide soon. Hopefully we can catch one when... It's like over 40 minutes left on it. Alright, here we go. Destroy the blood boils. Everything in here is level 60. Get this down. Just in time. There was a, a shrine up there. We'll go get that after this. I need more time. Let's keep moving here. I need more time. Should have oh. Should have stayed in there. <laughs> yes. I wonder what's after these blood boils. Not a bad dungeon. I kind of like this one. Just the last one over here. Need 
We got a Paragon point, nice. Nice elixir there. Now you can travel to the pillar of eternal blood bond. There's a thing. Oh, it didn't come up. Went a little too far, I guess. Okay. Alright, so we unlock that. Next one we'll we'll be able to unlock the new board. Got a bunch of stats from completing that. Don't have enough energy. Need more time. Things I couldn't bear it. Don't fret over me. I'm safe. I fled to the ruins we thought deserted and was shocked to find there as a group of kind folk who offered me food and lodging. I hope you'll come too. Rogue is such a good class for that affix. Just dash right into it when you're ready, like with a second left. But they feed me. Quite generously. For once, I have some fat on my bones in this frigid wasteland. Love, the Bellman. I'm not ready for this. Gotta get this guy down from the armor. All right, boss time. Another blood bishop. I would have killed us there. We didn't get in that. Get rid of this flush here, I guess. There you go, that's a mortal emanation. Alright, so we'll level up the new glyph we got closer. And let's check out this ring we got. Mother's Embrace. Nice. I wonder if we can get hit by that in here. Yeah, you get hit a little bit, actually. So Mother's Embrace, is that better than any of these rings? Crit, lucky, hit, chance, all stats. Core skills, hits five or more enemies. 40% of the resource cost is refunded. Pretty good. It's probably better than this one. The max energy, max life damage over time. Yeah, I think we'll replace that. Put that ring in there.
Father Bless. What do you need? And the legendaries we got, you gained 0.25. That's eh, pretty bad. Nice uh, aspect, but a uh, pretty low roll. And then the Twisting Blades aspect. Which is pretty good. It's actually an amazing roll on that. That's awesome. It's good we're going to be using that aspect. Probably save that for when we get Ancestral Gear. In World Tier 4. Okay, I don't really see many upgrades here. Nice sword there. All right, so let's upgrade this ring. I can't do that. Oh yeah, you gotta go to the jeweler. Forgot about that. So head over to the jeweler. We'll upgrade the ring. I have to get uh... it's hard for this. We'll use um. It needs a blue one. The barrier generation. Guess we could use that. Shadow decoy. I think we already have that, don't we? Yeah. I'll just use the barrier one. I'll put these away. Precious stones to catch the light. Oh, here we go. Let's upgrade this item here. I'll upgrade it fully. I think it's worth upgrading to the max amount. We want to keep this one. And we'll put this in here. There we go. I think that's worth it. Lost a little bit of life and maximum energy. But we gained lucky hit chance, critical strike damage, overpower damage, and then decent amount of all stats. Didn't get any high rolls on this Mother's Embrace except for the lucky hit chance, but lucky hit chance is good. Yeah, we got the, the highest amount of gems we can get. Can we add sockets to this yet? Yeah, we, we do have the mats. So I think we'll do that. And we'll put a gem in there. Alright, there we go. A little bit of an upgrade there. That's good. Happy we got that Mother's Embrace. Yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.